Hello, this is Mike, and this is Lesson 30 on PHP Programming, and today we're going to look at the random password generator and try to wrap everything up. Specifically, we'll be looking at the rate collection, scripting versus MXML, using components, and then we'll try to finish it today, if we can. Let's try to get to it. So what I've done, I've actually created another blank project so we can and let you see it again. So what I've done is actually got this little blank project here, and let's go ahead and open up the Navigator package, and there we are. And you can see we have our random class down here, and we actually can generate a code automatically in Flash Builder by going to data. So if we go to data, and we go to uh, generate form, and we'll just uh, go ahead and step this. We went through this last time. We generate this piece of uh, code, basically graphical interface here. If you go to the source, you can actually see there it is right there. So the neat thing about Flash Builder, when you highlight something in Design View, when you go to Source View, you'll, you'll actually see that. So let me go ahead and, and take that away again, hit Control Z, we'll step back one more step right here. But then when you go back to Design View and you drag that to the stage, go Data, uh, Generate Form, and you go ahead and automatically generate that code, then you've actually created quite a few things, and here is all that code right here. And the big deal, of course, as I've mentioned, is the uh, call responder. Now what's happening, let me explain this code just a little bit, is that this graphical element in Design View is when you hack come along here and it is generated, then on the completion of that generation, a method is fired. How do I know that? Well, let's go ahead and highlight that, or click on it, so that, that code is highlighted, and so you can see the code that creates that graphic component is here. So there's two types of code involved in Flash Builder. There is uh, scripting, which is much like PHP, Java, or C++. As a matter of fact, it's so much like that you can actually paste some C++ code into uh, ActionScript and it'll run. So that's how close ActionScript follows uh, strict typing. So here, this is all action script, and it's actually enclosed in these scripting tags. But below that, you have another type of language, and that is like MXML, rapidly uh, becoming what's called the Spark architecture as well. And you uh, represent that by brackets and an MX, or if you're using Spark architecture, then you're going to see brackets and an S right here. Let me move this over so you can see it. There's the S enclosure right there. So we're actually looking at this MXML. What does it do? It actually creates the graphical elements. And so then you tie code to those graphical elements like you see on the screen. So the particular, so the particular form that was created was right here. You can see it's highlighted. And inside of that form, there is a creation complete. So what happens is, is when that graphical element is um, created, then it fires this method in the creation complete uh, handler right here. Now, what I like to do is hold down the control key, and we do the roll over that. You can see it highlights that, and it'll take you right to the code that it creates. And the code that it actually fires after it's created is this right here. So it creates a token for a request to the server, and then it goes to the random pass class and runs the generate.userPass method. So let's take a look at that method real quick here. Here we go. I've gone to the uh, random pass class, and here's my... Uh, generate uh, user pass method. And what that's going to do is generate the password and it's going to actually return uh, the username and password. And so what you want to do now is capture that username and password in an array collection and shoot that back to the screen. So the great thing about Flashbot, of course, is its ability now to uh, grab stuff once it's been processed on the server. You don't even have to do any work now. It's all done for you automatically. So we want to take a look at this right here, generate user password. What that caused ha to happen is uh, actually this uh, ID right here to be fired. And you can see uh, it's actually going to give you a results. This is a call responder. It tells you when things are coming back from the server. So all this is linked together. You got your RAM pass class. And once that fires and everything is processed, you have things coming back in the call responder. So I want to grab the results of the call responder. Right now there's nothing in there. And then I want to actually put a button on the stage. So actually this is method is not being fired when the uh, form is created, but when I press a button. So I'm actually going to go to finish code and show that to you. But before we do that, let's talk about the components uh, panel. So let's go to design view. Now one of the great things about Flash Builder is you can actually um, create components or drag already made components onto the stage and connect to them. This form component was only used to get the code that we needed to get some basically some stub code that we're actually going to connect to some other components. And so what I want to do is drag a button and two text boxes onto the screen. So I'm going to go to window and go to components. 
And when I do that, up comes the component manager. And this is so beautiful. Hey, I need a button, so I'll just grab button. If I double click on that button, I can say generate password. I just typed it right in the screen. That's so easy to do. And notice, unlike HTML, I can just drag this wherever I want to. Isn't that powerful? And I need some labels, and I can call one username and one password. So it's just dragging some labels onto the screen. And let's just call this username. So let's call this username. And we'll call this password. So I have my labels on the screen, but I actually want to actually stick that into something. And so I'm going to come along here and drag two rich text box screens on the uh, stage. And we're actually going to stick everything that we need onto the ri those rich text boxes. Now notice, as I'm dragging all this onto the stage, this code is being generated on the other side in the source. So let's just highlight the button. That should highlight the code in the source view. And so there's my button code right there. So here's the button I dragged to the stage. Here's the two labels I dragged to the stage. And here's the rich text boxes I dragged to the stage. So automatically Flash Builder is generating all this code for you. Like in the old days or in HTML, you've got to type all this in. It's being done for you uh, without any work. Isn't that fantastic? Some of the screen was cut off, and I want to make sure that you get this whole process. To get the components manual to pop out, go to Window, go to Components. When you click on that, up comes Component Panel. And from that, you can actually come along here and drag whatever components that you might need uh, for your particular project. So let's drag a few components over. We'll drag a button over. We can drag a label over, which we'll use as a username label and the password label. And then we'll come down here and grab some text box labels along here as well. So we can use a rich text button, and we'll grab those. And so we can come along here and just by clicking inside these components, actually start changing them. So I can change that to get data. And we could change this to username. And this to password. And then we're actually going to put some bindable expressions inside these text boxes. And we'll cover that as we proceed. But just remember, this is so beautiful because there's a, a large number of components here that have already been pre-made by Adobe that you can drag over and customize and skin to whatever look you want. So if you can't find a component you want or you need to combine components, you, you can build your own custom components as well. So let's move on with the video. So you have this. And what I actually want to do now is kind of just leave this and go to the finished code and show you just uh, wrap things up here how the rest of it goes. So here's the finished code right here. One of the things I want to do is actually get rid of the form. Uh, now that I have my buttons on the stage, I just don't need that anymore so I delete that. But there was also a method associated with that form and that method was this right here. I don't want that method to actually fire upon creation because it's not there anymore but I want to tie it to the button. So I can actually just uh, change this handler to uh, click uh, button for example and I could just take this whole thing right here go down to my button and just hit click and I could actually generate that source code or just paste my uh, name in and there it is right there and so whenever I click this button now because it has the code in it you see right there what will happen is this method will run which will send the request to the server to generate the passwords and send those passwords back somewhere and those passwords are going to come back to my call responder and I need to grab those passwords and send them to the screen and so if I click here I can hit a results let's type in results that will be the result of what comes back hit return it's going to generate some automatic code for me there so this is automatic code generation which is so powerful about uh, flash builder so what happens now that that when that password comes back the results is fired and uh, it can be grabbed here by an array collection right into that screen. We're reaching the 10 minute mark of our YouTube uh, length here. So what I'm going to do is uh, end the discussion here and we'll pick this up in the next video. Thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.